known as Death Valley. We're in Clemson, South Carolina, the site for this college football matchup. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Sears has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 32. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Down he goes at the 44-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Completes it across the middle. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. Right now, this quarterback, when he's calling play action, is doing a good job of selling the run fit. He's not tipping his hand at all that it's a play action pass. He's doing a good job of selling the run fake, which is getting the defense out of position, and making it much easier to throw the football. And he's sacked. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. from the 35-yard line. It's second down. Mike 12. Mike 12. And they push him out to the 19-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Watch this, watch this, watch this. The 10. Gets out to around the six. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 68-yard drive. And they put up seven points. So our score, 7-0. Tennessee is lining up to kick this one off. McKinney from the two. They'll bring him down at the 20. The Tigers' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Five wide. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop the 42-yard line. Got his man. Can't 
tack on any yardage. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Here's a handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. a loss of four yards. Third down. From the 39-yard line. Third down. Hey, check my 45. Check my 45. Brought down around the 21-yard line. Tackled at the 19. And they'll run him again. He gets hit out of bounds around the 11 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll make it third and one. Down in the backfield. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up fourth and three. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up and he got it. Here. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 40-yard line. Tennessee's offense deserves all the credit in the world. You come into a crowd like this, and they didn't keep them from doing the job at hand. They got points on that opening march. Just really impressive. It, considering this is, I think, one of the toughest environments in all the college football, it's a job well done. Now they've got to continue to try to build off that opening draft. He fights forward to about the 40. No game. That makes it second and 10. Tennessee is up four. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. Reyes on the tackle, the 37-yard line. First down. Mike 12. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. He's taken down, right around the 34. Bring him down at the 28. He has some room. Tackle made at the 17 yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. After a decent pickup. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. On the ground, up the middle. Runs right for a nice gain. That's a gain of six on the play. That makes it first and goal. They line up in the jumbo set. Throws it out and it goes nowhere. That's a loss of five yards. That's a second and goal. From the nine yard line, second down. Tennessee is up by four. 
hits it again, and this one's going nowhere. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. The Volunteers lead it by four. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. They'll spread the field with five wide. Finds the man. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. It was a textbook post route, and the pass was right on target. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 59 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Across the 30, he's taken down at the 35. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's taken down at the 42. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at the 49. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. Nice run there. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Big opening. And they get nice yardage on that run. throw to the tight end. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From the 10-yard line, second down. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it burning goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick throw, and they make the stop at about the three yard line. Haynes makes the tackle at the three yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up and it sails through the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Sears has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee up by eight. Here's the screen to the wideout. He's to the 40. Brought down around the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of 18 yards. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. Over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down at the 27. Dumps it complete over the middle. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He tackles him for a loss. The Volunteers use their second timeout. And this play is number eight on the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it third and goal. Tennessee is up by eight. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. Number 20 was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Tennessee is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. It's a fumble recovered by the offense. They bring him down in the backfield. Clemson's going to use their first time out of the half here. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. They'll knock him down for a loss. Tennessee's called their final timeout. Some three yards on the play. Fourth down. Smith is back deep to return. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Tennessee's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. First down.
First and 10, ball on the 29. Pass to the end zone. That close to being intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it second and ten. long day for you. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Deep ball laying it out there. Boy, Brett, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that, going to the meetings the other day, is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up, and he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 20 to 6, Tennessee. Roberson is lined up to kick this one off. Humphrey from the one. And he's taken down at the 20. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. He's on the run. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. 45 the mark. Set. Blue 14. Blue 14. Uh, alert, alert. Lion, lion. Hey. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen and they push him out around the 25 yard line. We've reached halftime and there's an upset on the horizon. 20 to 6. Volunteer. Hi everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Nobody's been able to run the football in the first half. Neither ground game really got anything going. And you know, an offensive line, David, has to work in unison. They have to be like the Rockettes. They have to be in perfect step. And these guys, they were dancing to their own tune. It's the biggest Rockettes I've ever seen. Goodness gracious. Ugliest ones, too. Yeah. Uh, well, the big fat boys do have to work together. The big uglies, and they got to step together. But And you can't allow guys to run through clear. And you, and you see tackles for a loss, especially in the run game when it's this unsuccessful in the first half. You know they're not all working together. And there's too many guys that are getting penetration and making plays. So they got to get it shirt up. Run blocking is the thing they like to do the best. They like to get their big meat hooks on you, grab you, and hold you. And, you know, to be honest, they got to do a better job of it if they want to get some successful running game going in the second half. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The Volunteers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Takes the ball right. Makes it out to about the 33. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Nice run to the outside. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Check three, check three. 
Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll make it fourth and 14. Sears is the punter. Smith fields it at the 27. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. And he shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He's got nowhere to go. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. From their own 39-yard line, third down. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Covington brings him down at the 41-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Mike 12. Cutler takes the give. He fights forward to about the 40. That makes it second and ten. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. In your face. Again with a carry. Makes it out to about the 19. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Fires incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. From the 19 yard line, it's second down. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down at the 11. That'll bring up third and two. Big opening. Touchdown, Volunteers. put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he converts the extra point. So a 10 play, 64 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 27-6. They'll bring him down at the 19. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of one. That'll bring up second and 12. 
from their own 18-yard line. Second down. He's in trouble. Fires it out. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He's into the open field. Nice run there as they work the outside. six yards. That'll make it second and four. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Gain of two yards. Third down. Roger, Roger. Hey, check like 45. Check like 45. You can't block me. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. I think the offense has to stick with who they are, and they know their identity. This time they came up a little bit short, but I think based on what they're seeing from this defense, they've got to be able to make a decision on whether or not they want to run the football or throw. That time the run did not work at all because they got beat up front at the line of scrimmage. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Tigers have simply rocked the college football world with an astounding effort in this one. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? They didn't worry about any of the outside distractions. They just kind of locked in to themselves and their coaches, getting ready for this football game, and it's really paid off for them. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Makes the catch and look out, and down he goes around the 29-yard line. Gain of seven yards. That'll make it 31. He makes his way to about the 38. Call it a gain of nine yards. Let's go. First down. He's got it with room to run. Brought down around the 45-yard line. That's a gain of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. Roger, Roger. Watch 14, watch 14. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Murphy, the intended receiver on the play. They'll line it up again on third down. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Brings him down at the 42-yard line. First down. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. Fourth quarter is here, and it's starting to look more and more like an upset is imminent. 27 to 6, Volunteer. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike 12, Mike 12. He's coming this way, coming this way. He's coming this way. And he hits him hard at the 38 yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and six. Close the fight. Kill, 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 kill. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Watch the run, watch the run. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at about the 17-yard line. Robinson makes the tackle at the 17-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He goes out of bounds at the 14. 
Call it a gain of three yards. First down. Mike 12. Mike 12. You ain't going nowhere. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown, Tennessee! And for Johnson, that's another touchdown pass, his third. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 21. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Fires out quickly to the tailback. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled at about the 31. Throws it away. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. The Volunteers have been about as impressive as you can be in a football game. Uh, this is as good as it gets. The defense is playing great. The offense has done their job. We've got a blowout here. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. So it's second and 12. Ball in 34. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets out to around the 45. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That'll bring up third and two. Receiver dropped it. Incomplete. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. Fourth down. Minor to punt. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Clemson's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Second and ten. Ball on their own 27. They 
takes the grab and steps out right away. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Just under two to go in the game. Tackled after decent pickup. Complete, and he's out of bounds. That's good enough for another Clemson. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. Tigers taking their first time out of the half. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. Up fourth and three. You got nothing to You got nothing. 45 to Mike. Hey, hey, hey. Pull it, man. Pull Quick pass. They'll bring him down oh, the seven-yard line. Clemson will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands. But not with this group. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 72-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. He's tackled at the 43. The Volunteers came out. Man, they were on a mission, it seemed like, from the opening kickoff, and they didn't let up. Yeah, I think somebody forgot to tell them that they're supposed to be heavy underdogs in this game. But they have really shown everybody, you and I and everybody watching this game, they are a team to be taken seriously. We have less than a minute to go. He takes a knee. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, 34-13, Volunteer. And the Tigers. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.